to defy the odds. It's quite the little operation. But so far, this student-run snack shop inside of Fisher's High School is profitable. There you go. And then all the proceeds go to DECA, which is our business club here at Fisher's. Tiger Bites is overseen by Jeremy Guler, who teaches entrepreneurship. But his students are the ones taking inventory. I think it'll be 450 whenever you're ready. Monitoring trends, fulfilling orders, and ensuring customer satisfaction. Perfect. Right. Have a good day, guys. Tiger Bites has been in operation for about seven months. It's open during much of the school day for students and staff to grab something to go. For those working behind the counter, Tiger Bites offers a lot more. It's really cool. I think that doing this in specifically a high school where people are about to go, if not are already in the workforce, it just helps them be prepared whether, you know, their first job is a cashier or just work experience in general just to put on your resume. And Guler agrees. I'm trying to prepare them for the real world. Entrepreneurship is not just about learning business. It's about living it. It gets them thinking about the entire business and how they fit into it rather than just, I need to do this project, I need to complete this task. His students are gaining valuable knowledge and experiences. I've also learned how to like step up and be a leader. And it's not just confined to the snack shop. We also have vending machines that we do, and then we usually have our spirit shop open, which sells all the clothing. While the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reveals that nearly half of small businesses close their doors within five years of opening, Guler is empowering his students with a unique market advantage. I'm trying to get them thinking 10 years from now, not just next week. It'll be 650. Learning essential skills that will serve them well in any perfect draw set career path they choose.